Hank has a sense of living in a very large family. And that's the way he thinks about the community in which he raised his family and the world he wants to see. Ultimately, he is a servant, right? He, he uses his abilities to serve others. And I think that drives him. And, you know, even as a, as a physician in Greensboro for, you know, 30 plus years, and now in retirement, we know that he's just going to continue that, uh, that pattern. He's going to serve others. He's going to use his talents and his gifts to, to help the community and help others. Obviously, he's a very accomplished physician, cardiologist. But when you meet him, you would never know that because he is others focused. He is centered around um, making the other person feel valuable. Health disparities clearly exist in the cardiovascular world, so you have to you have to approach each patient at the center. And he always did that. And he always thought about the bigger problems, and the bigger problems with access, whether it uh, inability to get medications, inability to get to office visits. And so, I think he incorporated that into his thinking all along. Hank has said, "It's time to." Stop that. Let's figure out ways to make sure that we're taking care of the least and the last and the left out. And that's the kind of guy he is. He's not just working on medical issues. He's trying to address bigger issues of inequality across our communities. I can recall just stories about seeing patients day after day after day and understanding some of the challenges that his patients face, particularly those who were underserved or had not had the level of access to care. He knew how to solve the problems. Hank feels that everything you do ought to be in the spirit of helping people get to the point where they can give their best every day. One of the things that Hank has started here in this community, help start, is the big fund through the Community Foundation. And he is such a leader how could I not be involved myself when Hank approaches me? That's how we ultimately came to the Big Equity Fund. As a matter of fact, it's called the Big Equity Fund or Black Investments in Greensboro because that was the name that Hank and Cheryl had planned to use for their own personal fund. And it sounded great to us. <laughs> so we said, oh, this sounds good. We'll name our strategic black endowment, Black Investments in Greensboro or the Big Equity Fund. So I think it was an alignment with what his personal philanthropy meant to him. And I think he also saw the collective impact of joining his personal financial resources with others in the black community to have even greater impact. I can only imagine how many times Hank walked the halls and, and those who thought they didn't belong. <laughs> so Hank Smith says, yes, I can. Yes, I can. And I think that's why Hank has been one of the leaders of the initiative, uh, big. I mean, just listen to that. That sounds like Hank, doesn't it? Big. <laughs> yeah, I think big equity uh, is an, another way outside of healthcare to provide opportunity. In our society, some people have more opportunities than others, and but everybody has some ability. And what he's what, what he's trying to do is to help people realize their ability and their talents and maximize them. And for that, they need opportunity. And I think this big equity fund uh, is, going to, is going to help with that. He has that style about him. He is quiet, but he is, you can tell the wheels are spinning and he's very thoughtful. And so when he speaks, he's got your attention. You're going to listen to this man. Asking questions, being curious, listening to what people have to say. Those are all qualities that are core to training as a physician. But they're also core qualities for leaders. And I can't tell that he's any different out of the hospital than he is in the hospital. He's focused, he can be serious, but he also knows how to interact with people in a way that very few people can pull off like he can. Good evening. I am humbled and honored 
to be one of the co-recipients of the 2024 NCCJ Citation Award. I extend my deepest gratitude for this honor. I know the history of the award and have reviewed the list of prior recipients. They are role models for us all. They have set a high bar which compels me to continue to work. I salute and congratulate my co-honoree, Ellen Lenny Gerber, for her decades-long work for civil rights and marriage equality for all. NCCJ is a Greensboro superlative that pushes forward the common humanity that we share. My children and grandchild had transformative experiences at any town. NCCJ does great work that should be supported and continued. Greensboro is a caring, giving, and safe community. My wife and I love Greensboro and have encouraged many to consider Greensboro as an ideal place to live and raise a family. I was raised in segregated Southeast Georgia by a strong village that included my parents who were educators, my paternal grandparents, and a close-knit community. My grandparents started the first local kindergarten for black children when I turned five years old. My village taught the importance of education and resource management. I frequently heard the refrain, money does not grow on trees. Most importantly, I learned that giving my time, talent, and resources to those in need was expected. Early in life, I wanted to prove that I could be successful and impact society in a positive way if given a chance. As an adult, I have focused on education, health, and economic sufficiency as the keys to success in our society. My village provided these important basics for me, and I have achieved a level of success because of that. Many of my friends were not as fortunate. Now, as it was then, many in Greensboro are impacted by socioeconomic disadvantages. Blacks and people of color are disproportionately impacted. Let us all share our time, talent, and resources to expand the Greensboro Village, the Triad Village. Guided by love and trust, we will increase inclusion and move our community forward with continued blessing. Thank you so much for this great honor.